In this video, we'll be talking about decimal place value, and ways that we can use decimal place value charts to not only help us pronounce and write our decimals, but in order to find ways to place them on number lines and order them by size. We can first talk about what is a decimal. So often we've seen in numbers something that looks like this. And you might have seen it in plenty of different ways. That could be $4.25. It could be 4.25 seconds. Or we could just write 4.25 to represent a not whole number. It is important to realize that decimals are actually just fractions of a full number. You've been learning about fractions over the past few years. So for example, if we look at one half, we know that one half is half of a whole. Now we will learn about converting decimals and fractions back and forth. For just right now, we can know that one half equals 0.5. You can also think of this as one half of a dollar equals 0 0.50 dollars. When we are talking about decimals, we are talking anything that happens after the whole number. So if we use 4.25 for example again, our 4 right here is our whole number. And our 2.5, or sorry, 0.25, right here, so everything behind our decimal point, this is our decimal. If we look at a decimal place value chart like we have here, we can see that right here is our decimal point. And anything in front of our decimal point, ones, tens, hundreds, are whole numbers. Everything behind our decimal point, tenths, hundredths, thousands, are decimals. You can also see that besides ones, once we get behind the decimal point, we start dealing with the same order that we went this way as we go this way. So it's tenths, hundreds, thousands. The next would be ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millions, etc., etc. But for our purposes here in grade six, we only have to worry about up to a thousandths. So if we look back at our number that we were doing before, 4.25, we know that our four is a whole number. So we can put our 4 into our 1's column. Now this 0.25, well, the 2 would be the next behind the decimal point. So we would actually put that under our 10th column, and we would put our 5 in our 100th column. So we know that 4.25 is actually 4 whole numbers, two tenths and five hundredths. It is important to remember that all numbers, even whole numbers, actually have decimals. So if we look at the number 224, we would put our four in our ones column, our two in our tens column, and our two here in our hundreds column. There are actually decimals behind it, but they're simply zeros. So in reality, this number looks like 224 decimal zero, 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 zero. It goes on forever. If it is only zeros behind a whole number, we don't normally write them when we are putting them down on our sheets or in our work. We don't need to. They're not relevant. But we do keep that column there, and it is important to realize that the decimals do exist behind that line. The most common way you've been looking at decimals most of your life is with money. So if we have $7.43, we can put this in our 
chart like this, $7.43. You can think about this as it takes 10 tenths to make up a whole and 100 hundredths to make up a whole. Think of this as three pennies and four dimes. Also, if we had $7.43, and three cents, so 7.03, we'd write this here. Now, even though we both have seven holes, the $7.43 has four tenths. The $7.03 does not have any. So therefore, 7.43 is larger than 7.03. And we can draw that like this. 7.43 is greater than 7.03. It's also important to remember that when we're moving from tenths to thousandths in this direction, our numbers are actually getting smaller. It becomes one tenth of a whole, one hundredth of a whole, and one thousandth of a whole. So you've heard this before in fractions, 1 over 10, 1 over 100, and 1 over 1,000. And 1 over 1,000. Decimal place value charts also help you when we're pronouncing our numbers with decimals. As we talked about in class, you shouldn't be using the word and when you're talking about whole numbers. For example, with this number here, 472, I shouldn't have put and 72. I should just say 472. Where we do use the word and is between our whole numbers and our decimals. So here we have 472 and 681 thousands.